right, let's see what's in the in-flight magazine. Muscular old guy, already filled in crossword puzzle. Oh, this is food for different routes I'm not on. All right, time to use the potty. Don't say potty, you're an adult. Okay, nobody move! Oh my god, those guys in first class have guns! Cleveland, just be happy with what you have. Don't envy people. No, Peter, we're being hijacked. Close the cockpit door! No. <laughs> this plane now belongs to us. You move, you're dead. So nobody try to get smart. Hmm, page 100. Hmm. Control Tower, this is flight 364. We have a hijacking in progress. Our flight has been... Oh, damn it, they jammed the transmission. I'm gonna have to go to the backup communication system. Hello? Can you hear me? This is flight 364. We're being hijacked. I can hear you. Oh! This is your last chance. Open the door, or your co-pilot gets it. No! I'm landing at the closest airfield, which is less than an hour away. So just let him go, because you're not getting control of this plane. Oh. <clears throat> ah! Jimmy! Oh, my God! Why are you doing this? America needs to be punished for supporting the other side of my country's civil war. Which country? Do you really want to know, or are you just asking because we're going to be on the plane for a while, and you think you should make small talk? The second thing. Open the door, or I'll start executing passengers. Man, coming on this trip was a terrible idea. I know. Now I wish I just stayed home and finished my remake of Inside Out. We interrupt this program with a special report. A flight from San Francisco to Quahog has lost contact with air traffic control. Oh, my God. That's your father's flight. Government officials are monitoring the situation closely. I'll be here to update you as this story progresses. Coming up on the Midday News, a couple in their 30s gets married without their dog being in the wedding. You're not going to believe their story. What's it going to be? Are you going to open this door, or am I going to start killing people? I'm not opening it. Excuse me, I'd just like to ask the mom behind me who told me to stop watching Game of Thrones on my laptop if I'm still the worst person on this plane. You, fat guy, get up here! Yeah! Ah! Last chance. Open the door, or this idiot gets it. Don't open it, Quagmire. It's not worth it. OK. Wait, wait, what? That, that was quick. I'm sorry, Peter, but I have to think about the whole plane. There's over 150 passengers back there, several of whom are in our commander's club. And to them, I'd like to issue a special welcome. Oh, man, we got to help Peter. Those crazy European guys are going to kill him. You know, I have a gun in the bag I checked. If we can get to the galley, we can take the elevator down to the cargo hold. Good idea, Joe. Oh, man, it feels like we're in one of those hijacking movies. You're right, it does. There's even an impatient businessman who really wants to reach his destination so he can conduct more business. Can't you see how important I am? My shirt is blue, but the collar is white. It's the same shirt. Quick, he's distracted. What the hell? Hey! Two of the passengers are missing! Okay, you guys watch the main cabin. I'll go find them. I'll take this fat guy as a human shield. Oh, nice. Last guy picked for dodgeball, first guy for human shield. Everybody be quiet. There's another update. Good afternoon, I'm Tom Tucker. The search for a missing airliner continues as speculation grows that the plane has been hijacked. Oh, this is all so awful. What will our lives be like if our husbands don't make it? Thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road and back again. Your heart is true. You're a pal and a confidant. Thank you for being a friend. Oh, my God. Now I want Dad to die. Giggity, giggity, giggity-goo. Stick around. <laughs>